to show you a bit about um, a new thing that we added in the 3.2 version of Avenue um, Avenue, which is Quartz Composer support. And what? Quartz Composer. And Quartz Composer is um, awesome. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> but what it actually is, is um, it's a visual um, coding program that allows you to um, program the graphics card of your computer. If you're familiar with stuff like uh, Max MSP or Pure Data or VDD, Course Composer is the free Macintosh version of that. So if you have Mac, you can have Course Composer. That's the cool thing. The downside is if you don't have the Mac, you can't work it. So. Um, but what I is the bad back. thing? <laughs> so I'll show you uh, what Sports Composer is. Um, and what you can do with it. It's a bit of a small interface, but we can work it out. Um, the way it works is you don't need to write uh, any lines of code or um, do um, uh, difficult stuff or learn stuff. Basically, um, out of all these patches that are pre-programmed, you can create um, the output of whatever you want to do. Now there's a whole lot of patches, and of course you can add plugins and downloads and all that stuff, but um, what you can do is uh, you can put in a clear patch to uh, make a nice black background, and then you can uh, well, just keep it simple. And create a, a sprite, which is uh, in this case just a simple uh, square. Now, instead of uh, having to write code like. Um, um, put sprite at coordinates there and there and render and make white. Um, the way Quartz Composer works is that every patch that you put on the on the grid has certain properties that you can do it all your active very quickly. Exactly. Um, besides uh, Filling with these knobs because that's uh, really not what you want to do. Um, you can um, use certain other patches to control this patch again. And so, for instance, I can create a um, row to one in a sine wave backwards and forwards. And I can connect the output of that to, for instance, the x position of the sprite, which will make the sprite move uh, from zero to one backwards and forwards. Now, this has its own. Um, Parameters again, so I can make it go really quickly or really slowly, whatever I feel like at the moment. And, and there's a lot of um, ways you can control this. LFO is one of them, and I'm particularly fond of the random one. Because that also always gives weird things. Random just rams out random positions because you know, it's all random, that's what it does. And you can do stuff with the mouse if you're uh, so inclined. So, create a mouse element, 